Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a super exciting video. I'm twin pairing with these David and Steven from The Happy Pair, which of course was Ireland's number one selling cookbook. So the guys have come up with a recipe for me that I've kindly requested. So we're making a super hearty winter soup because I have no idea how to make soup. So the boys are gonna show me using my favorite winter ingredients, butternut uh, squash. Butternut squash and have. red pepper. Yes, and lots of their good things. And we've teamed up, we've teamed up with coconut, yes. ginger, and chili. Super oh. hearty stuff. Tara's gonna cook this from scratch and we're gonna go through some soup fundamentals. Woo! Yes. Keys okay, the so, perfect soup. Show okay, me, so first me. step, okay, you could just add in two tablespoons of oil. Two okay. tablespoons. Okay, let's do this. Soup fundamental one, prep your veg first, makes it easier, and then you're you're less likely to chop your fingers off. Oil is bubbling, we're ready to rock our veg. Right, what's up first? Uh, onion and garlic. Onion and garlic. Bowling, yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Boy. Onion and garlic. In they go. Tara is doing a beautiful job here. Stirring. Tara, you are. Oh, your, your, nail, your nails actually oh, match the red onion. Look, oh, stop. <laughs> um, so with this, you just want to fry the onion and garlic down for probably around four minutes, and it's kind of until the, the onion just starts releasing that lovely "I want to eat you" smell. Yeah, you know, already or smells I want you amazing. to eat me smell. Um, and the garlic. Everyone knows it. And you know when the kind of garlic start, I like when the garlic starts to brown slightly. Some people don't like it to brown, but I think when it's a brown slightly, it just adds a little bit more flavor. A handy way, people get confused about soup and they go, oh, how do I make soup? Essentially all you're doing is you're making liquid vegetables and you're making them taste yeah. nice. And I somehow managed to still botch it up. Yeah, okay. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> Hopefully we're, we're, not after today. <laughs> yeah, I redeem myself. Um, so like there are two things regarding soup. First thing is yeah. texture. You want the texture to be not too thick, not too thin. Yeah. So you got to decide what way you want it. Yeah. And then seasonings, whatever you season with. This soup we're using coconut milk, so coconut milk is going to add a lovely yeah. kind of rich, delicious, creamy, yummy, lovely, smooth. Yeah. Sweet. Delicious, delicious, sexy, lovely, delicious. Rub it on your body. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Give it to me. <laughs> okay. So Tara's now. Okay. She, she, it's, I think it's time. Do you reckon it's, it's time? time. Okay. What do you reckon, Tara? Let's do it. If you guys smell, say so. Smell. If you guys say okay. so. Smell. Can you get that smell? smell? What do you think, Tara? Does it smell good? It smells amazing. Like, honestly, we just eat it out of the pan. <laughs> right. Okay, so what do we got in there? The sassy red pepper and, and chili. chili. Let's do it. And we left the seeds out of the chilli because we didn't want it too hot. Yeah. This is uh, an Irish soup for Irish yes. people. That's okay, so we're going to add in one tablespoon of salt. And what the salt is going to do... Tablespoon or teaspoon? One teaspoon. teaspoon. Little spoon, little spoon. Um, so the salt is going to draw out the moisture of the peppers. And what salt does in terms of cooking is it draws moisture out of vegetables, in our case, and allows flavours to fuse together. Cool. Brilliant. Cool. Because yeah. I, I always make that mistake. I just think it's for seasoning, and then sometimes you hear that salt's bad for you, so I don't add anything. Nah, get it into the salt. There's a chef salt. Go for it. Wonderful. Okay, so I reckon, go. I reckon yeah, it's squash amazing. time. So with butternut squash, we peeled it because butternut squ squash can have kind of just a slightly bitter taste on it on the skin of it. Time to add a little more salt again. This will draw the moisture out of the squash. And we're adding half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Your stirring is ex. Really? Exemplary. Can I be a part of the happy pair team? Yes! Here? <laughs> so take grater and grate ginger. If you're not using organic ginger, just peel it. We're using organic ginger, so there's most amount of minerals are always in the skin of vegetables. Okay. So we're leaving the skin on, on, uh, on our ginger. So this is a super simple recipe. We're pretty much just going to add in our liquid and bring it to the boil now. Yeah. What liquid we got, Mr. Flynn? We've Ooh. got one tin of coconut milk that you took the wrapper Bob. off, which is Just very important. Cool. 400 ml. <laughs> okay, and we've got 1.5 liters of the finest vegetable veg stock. stock. If you don't have any veg stock, just use water. So now you just literally leave it boil for, or come to the boil and leave it simmer for 20 minutes. So it's been a minute. I've been slaving over this pot the entire time. But we have basically brought the soup up to a boil and then let it simmer for 20 minutes until the butternut squash was soft. So as you can see, as go. you can see, here we go. Ooh. The squash is nice and soft. See, look at that, look, I can Love it. squash the bejesus yeah. out of it. Okay, so enter Power Tools. Yes! 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 <laughs> wow, she's ready. Okay, this. so it's very important you have nice ceramic hipster, pots. Hipster, hipster pots and Hipster, pots and hipster pans. enamel, super cool stuff. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Oh, right, let's dress okay, it up. Okay, so we've got the soup. I've just, got the soup. I'm just gonna dice up, I'm gonna dice up some nice, I've got toasted pumpkin seeds, I'm just gonna chop them up nice and fine. Okay, here we go. <laughs> go Are we ready it. for it? Here we go, here we go. Oh. Expect miracles, guys. Here we go. The peace, the resistance. Mm. Really creamy, wow. 
Oui, very, oui. Very, yeah. smooth, very mm. easy. Tastes, smell, tastes very gentle, soothing. It's so really like, like lunch. Mm. Yeah. It tastes warm like sitting by a fire on a winter's evening, mm. listening to the rain on the tin roof with a blanket on your lap, reading. And a cat. And you're stroking a cat. And you're stroking a cat and someone's combing your hair. Maybe. Amazing. <laughs> That's all you want. That's all you want. Maybe. Or you're having a foot bath. <laughs> it tastes, it just tastes like really nice. <laughs> Let us know what your favorite soup recipe is. We'd love to. This is Tara. Is this your new favorite? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys have to try this recipe and let us know in the comments below your favorite soup because I want to know. I'm always looking for new recipes. And now that I know the basics, I think I can manage some other ingredients. So let me know. Thanks for showing me how to make soup, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the Happy Paris channel for more amazing, super healthy recipes full of good stuff to keep you healthy for the winter. And yeah, see you later, guys. Cheers! Bye. Cheers!